Okay, my amigos and amigas, welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you're doing well. And I got a headache, and it makes me feel like my head is about to pop. It's about to explode. This video right here certainly didn't help. Sometimes I get asked, yo, sensitive Oscar, does watching super videos, over 600, almost 700 videos, does it ever take a toll on you mentally? I always respond with no. But this video right here gave me the biggest headache. There's this new Netflix show about Jeffrey Dahmer, and I like it. I'm in episode four. I'm definitely not glorifying any killers over here. It's a series. But there's people who think this guy's hot and super sexy and mostly because of the actor who's actually playing him not the real jeffrey and this one right here feels bad for him she feels bad for a serial killer tiktok is the only platform besides twitter who worship killers before we keep going i just want to give a big thanks to yahaha studios for sponsoring today's video yahaha studio allows creators like you and i to build 3d multiplayer interactive experiences without coding you need to know absolutely nothing about coding and you can start building your own worlds and invite your friends over if you want you can build whatever your mind desires they have simple to use components and smart assets if you download your house studio which is available on mobile and computer and they just keep getting better they support multiplayer so you and other people can play the same game together in one template or one game then i mentioned that players can invite friends hang out with them and meet new friends at any time in yahaha 3d spaces and communities if this sounds like something interesting to you i highly recommend giving it a download it's free and i hope you enjoy it click the link in the description below or the pinned comment and join yahaha's early access now for free now let's get back to the video serious question is there something wrong with me because i high key felt bad for jeffrey dahmer okay so first things first that whole documentary was like 12 out of 10 like that shit was fire coming from someone that likes like true crime shit right that shit was fire just the way he was killing people in the 80s and 90s oh that was such a good shit dude that's what i love and i'm quirky and i love my true crime shit you know <laughs> i don't know what's going on with people lately i don't know what's going on this is a new level of stupidity over here where we're worshiping and we're feeling bad for serial killers and i honestly honestly don't feel bad for anyone who's killed anyone i don't feel bad for serial killers i don't care what the circumstances were everyone has shitty circumstances everyone has shitty cards are dealt with and that's what you decide to do i have no respect for you i don't feel bad for any serial killer i don't care what the tragic horrible sad true story is i don't give a fuck and i don't know why people are feeling bad for oh like he was so cute guys let's just free him let's just free him even though he died back in 1994 i believe everyone deserves a second chance you're delusional you need to get off tiktok you need to go into the real world where if you said this in public you would get beat up and rightfully so i was like damn like this shit is crazy like that's so sad all like the murders and everything that like he did the way he did it like ever. i was like damn like this shit is mad scary like that's so sad but i was like fine throughout the whole thing because like i lo i watch a lot of true crime whatever but we get it you're quirky you're desensitized you don't care blood gore woo guys i'm i'm not like most girls over here even though most girls like true crime videos like you're not unique okay you're not quirky like come on. i know you're trying to be something else i know you're not trying to be like most girls like mm, i like to watch true crime okay we get it you're different you're not like us you're above us scary like that's so sad but I was like fine throughout the whole thing because like I lo I watch a lot of true crime, whatever. But bitch, when they killed Jeffrey, I was, I was like literally teary eyed. Like I got teary eyed. I'm looking at my boyfriend like, oh my God, like, please don't tell me they kill him. Don't tell me he died. I'm looking at myself like, bitch, what? Like what? For some reason, like everything that he did that was like absolutely horrifying, just like, mm out the window i'm literally like looking to my side and i'm like please tell me they don't kill him <laughs> no they killed my favorite character jeffrey they fucking killed him please even though this was 25 30 years ago but they killed him spoiler alert bitch if you just google him you will see in his wiki page he died okay the fact that she has a boyfriend is really mind-blowing because if i was chilling and i was just watching the show as i do and i am because it's a certified hood classic i like it and i've always seen my girl being like no this is so fucking sad i feel horrible for him i feel so sad for him dude how can this serial killer horrible disgusting
trusty, manipulative person do this? If that would have been my girl's reaction, I would have been like, time to break up. Because we got one of those girls who's not like most girls, very unique. Bitch, you're just like everyone else. You're not special. Guys, I feel so bad for him. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. You cannot be serious. This is a red flag. And I hope the boyfriend ran for the hills. Like this motherfucker ran and never looked back. Blocked her on social media. Blocked her from iMessage. Because she's going to kill you, dude. You're next. She's going to get you. She's coming for you. She's going to kill you. It's like, what? For some reason, like everything that he did that was like absolutely horrifying, just like mm, out the window. All the innocent people he killed, all the people he drugged, all the people he touched inappropriately, all of that went right out the window. When this handsome guy, Jeffrey, <laughs> all of that went out the window when, uh, when he died, when he gets killed. I feel so bad for him. This absolutely disgusting, heartless piece of shit. I feel bad for him. No, hopefully Netflix doesn't kill my character and I hope we get a season two where he goes to rehab and has a happy family. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, guys. I'm literally like looking to my side and I'm like, please tell me they don't kill him. I felt so fucking bad. Like I actually felt bad. Like it was like ridiculous. I'm thinking to myself, like you should not be feeling bad for this man. Like, but I dead ass didn't want him to die. Like I was kind of pissed. I was like, what the fuck? I feel bad for her guys. I think the victims are not valid here. She's valid. I'm pretty sure this girl right here would go on Twitter and start a trend if Jeffrey was alive. Hashtag free Jeffrey Dahmer because he's so sexy. Oh my God, I'm creaming my pants just thinking about him. I'm pretty sure she'll do that blindly. And you know, it's a good video when the comments are turned off. I would love to read the comments. Props to her for leaving the video up, I guess. I think her Latina past should definitely be taken away. You guys are missing the whole fucking point of this show. Anyways, I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna go and not to Jeffrey's photo. So I'm gonna go head out. All right, peace out. Stay safe out there. Does anyone feel bad for Jeffrey Dahmer over here? Shut the fuck up, bitch.